Your finder scope is like the north star in your telescope setup. It's your guiding light to explore the cosmos. Setting it up optimally ensures that you can effortlessly pinpoint and locate celestial objects, making your stargazing experience not just enjoyable, but also incredibly rewarding too. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to align your finder scope for truly breathtaking views. Now before I begin, I do just want to quickly mention that there are generally two different types of finder scopes. So as you can see in front of me here, this is my Celestron StarSense Explorer LT 114AZ, and this is the finder scope that comes with it. And now this is a red dot finder scope. I'll just briefly walk you through that in a second. But before I do, I just want to mention that the other main type is known as an optical finder scope. Now it works slightly differently with the same, um, giving you the same benefit, the way that works, essentially, it's like a mini telescope that has crosshairs and it helps you obviously aim at objects. It does often um, provide uh, views flipped, so imagine objects do appear upside down. Uh, but don't worry, so long as your object is centred through the finder scope, uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Now this particular finder scope, as I've previously mentioned, is a red dot finder scope. Now this is battery powered and it projects a red LED dot on the glass window for precision targeting and it doesn't have any magnification. I'll show you that in a second. So when it comes to aligning your finder scope, the process is the same regardless of the finder scope that you have. So all you need to do, and firstly I would recommend doing this in the day when it's nice and bright, uh, you want to prepare ahead of when it gets dark, uh, set up your telescope then uh, so that when, when it does get dark you can start uh, observing the sky wonders and your finder scope is all ready to go. So all you need to do is you need to find or pick a stationary target in your area. So as you can see here, it could be the top of a tree, such as up here, or it could be a chimney or something like that. Um, but yeah, you want to find a stationary target that is around a quarter of a mile or further away. Um, so that's what you need to do first and foremost. At that point, you need to put your um, lower power eyepiece from your telescope package and place it into the star diagonal. So I've already done that here, you can see that. Uh, my other eyepiece is in my pocket, I believe. But you should obviously get a couple of eyepieces with the telescope that you get. So once you've done that, uh, you want to stand behind your telescope, okay? And then you want to use the line of sight method to position the target uh, object just on top of the telescope's front cell. So if you can imagine this, what we'd be essentially be doing, let me hope you get the position. So this, let's say this is the target. We'd want to position it so it's something like that, okay? Hopefully that makes sense for you. So if we're using the red dot finder scope, which we are, all we then need to do is turn on the star pointer until the red dot appears. So that's this little button here. Hopefully you can see the red dot coming through. Do you see that? Hopefully you can. See that come through? Excellent. So that's now on. And at this point, all we need to do is turn the altitude and azimut control knobs so that the red dot becomes centred on our targets. So if we look through there, we're just manipulating these here. And it's going to move, basically move everything around. There's another one at the bottom. There's one here. And there's one here. Hopefully you can see those. So now it's just a matter of manipulation to get our red dot into position. You'll notice that's moving that around. So that's how essentially we do it. Uh, with the red dot finer scope and then once we're happy we will then put our eye through the eyepiece and just ensure that our object is centered uh, and that you're pointing at and that would be the setup for the red dot finer scope if you're using the optical finder then there's a couple of different um, knobs you have to play around with um, so there's two alignment screws and one spring-loaded pivot screw I can't show you that because I don't have one here in front of me but the pivot screw puts constant pressure on the finder scope. So all you need to do is turn the two alignment screws, I believe they're positioned around here, um, until the object is centered in the crosshairs. It's relatively straightforward. Essentially, you just need, need to manipulate the screws that are on it. And that's essentially uh, a slightly different uh, equivalent of what we did here with these, uh, these knobs, if you like. Again, once you finish doing that, you would check the telescope ice piece here uh, and make sure that, that the object you're looking at is in the center. So that's essentially it. Either way, your finder scope should now be aligned with your telescope, so you're now ready to begin your observing session. It should be all set up and ready to um, observe the night sky. I would just probably turn this off to make sure you don't run out of battery. You'll hear it click, and that's if you're using, obviously, a red dot finder. But yeah, always make sure your finder scope is aligned each time you observe, 
hope this video has been helpful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. And with that said, over to you.